Are you looking to up your real estate investing game? Well, you're in the right place. Welcome to the Sub 2 Deals Show with your host, Sub 2 expert, William Tingle. Hey, Sub Tours, this is William Tingle of Sub2Deals.com. I'd like to uh, welcome you to this episode of the Sub 2 Deals Show where we talk about all things subject to and occasionally we'll talk about something uh, a little bit different, but always real estate related. Today's episode is about how to make a profit with a low equity deal. You know, we talk about that a lot, um, uh, how you can actually make a, a lot of money with a house that doesn't have a tremendous amount of equity. And most of you already know that my business model is a little bit different than most investors. I completely changed the way that I do things about 10 years ago and really scale things down, really focused on a particular type of deal where you could make massive profits uh, with a small amount of equity and strictly sell with owner financing. I don't do lease options anymore. I don't do rentals anymore. And used to do all that stuff in the past. But it's it's really a lot simpler to, to do one thing. I mean, that's at least that's the way I look at it. So let me give you an example of how you can take uh, a deal that really has no equity and turn it into, into a really big profit. Now, if you understand how my business model works of buying about one house a month and keeping about 30 in inventory at all times, you know, our sellers uh, sell to us and our buyers cash us out in about 36 months. That's our goal. That's what we try to do. And we really focus on median priced range homes. Now, I work in four different markets in the U.S., and in every single one of those, the median price is going to be somewhere between uh, 175 to 225. Now, our real sweet spot for me is about $177,000. And, and I know that's a precise number, but really that's calculated based on all of the median prices in the markets that we work. And we will buy houses cheaper. You know, we bought one a few months ago that was only worth about 120. And then we've gone as high as 300. So, you know, we will deviate from that slightly. But I find that the $177,000, uh, $200,000 price range has the largest pool of buyers. You've got first-time home buyers. Uh, some of them can afford that price range. People in nicer homes that are downsizing, you know, that want to keep something still nice. And depending on the part of the country that you're buying in, a $200,000 house can be very nice. So that's the range that we operate in. But for our example today, I want to use our perfect priced home, which is 177. And when we talk about no equity, now I'm not talking about owner financed homes, and certainly that could be another episode for another day. Yes, you can make money with owner financed homes. That's not uh, what our model focuses on. We're typically buying today at about 90% LTV. Yeah, so what that will allow us to do is buy a home that's valued. Now, that's that's actual market value. That's what it would sell for if a realtor listed it and, and someone came in with bank financing and bought it at $177,000. Now, we're, that means we're buying that house for about $160,000. And that means that we're paying about 90% LTV. Now, <clears throat> how many sellers can you find out there day to day that have a house in this situation, 90% financed, that you could take over the payments on? I'm going to venture to guess that if you really set your mind to it, you could go out and buy half a dozen of them this month because they're everywhere. And in a lot of these cases, by the time these people listed, uh, by the time they paid buyer concessions and the discount that they would probably take, because, you know, your buyer's always going to offer a little bit less in most cases. And by the time they paid realtors commissions and any other cost, they would most likely have to come out of pocket. It'd be very close. I mean, there certainly wouldn't be any profit to be made. So these deals are easy to find. They're all over the place. Uh, picking them up's no problem. Now, if we buy this $177,000 house, we're going to mark it up just a little bit for our purposes. And typically that's going to be between 6 and 10%. Now, I know a lot of investors out there talk about marking them up 15%, 20%. 
and apparently they're doing well with that. But we really want to offer our buyers a value. They can benefit from some of the appreciation. You know, we're not trying to take everything. And I think that's been one of the real keys to the success with the program that we run. We run about 83% uh, success with getting our buyers to cash us out within 36 months, which is our goal. And the vast majority of the remainder 17% just stay on and continue paying. In fact, in, in the 10 years that I've been doing this, I can count on one hand the number of homes that we've actually had to take back. We qualify our buyers very well. We put them with a credit repair specialist, and we really focus on trying to get them ready to get that good financing. So, so back to our example. Now, we bought this $177,000 house for $160,000. Now, our sellers bought this house for $175,000 about four years ago. And, uh, of course, they've you know, got a little bit of, uh, of principal pay down there. You know, they're down to $160,000 now. Their interest rate is 3.2% on a 30-year note. And that makes their principal and interest payments $756 a month. Okay, now we're going to sell that house with seller financing for $194,000. And that's just marking this house up about 10%. We'll collect a $15,000 down payment. And that means that we'll finance $179,000 for our buyer. Now we typically, for our buyer, uh, we're going to put them on a 40-year amortization. And some investors, you know, will do this amortization interest only to make the payments even lower. Uh, but we do put them on an amortized note, and we do set it at 40 years. And we do that for a couple of reasons. It's going to make their payment a little bit lower. And it's also going to allow us to accumulate um, some amortization a lot quicker than they do, which is going to make the back-end payday quite a bit bigger. But we'll get to that in just a minute. Now, in this case, we'll be financing our buyer at 7.5%, and that'll make their payment eleven seventy-eight per month. So what this is going to give us is our initial $15,000 down that we'll collect, and then over the course of 36 months, we'll collect $422 a month in cash flow. So that's going to give us about $15,200 in cash flow over the, the 36 months. Uh, in the three years when our buyers are ready to refinance, we'll have a back-end payoff of about $30,000. So as you can see, you know, we're going to make almost $60,000 over the course of 36 months on a house that was 90% financed and really at the you know acquisition appeared to only have about $17,000 in equity. Uh, when our buyers pay us off, our underlying loan will have a balance of about $148,000 and they'll still owe us about 176. So that's how it works. It's it's just a matter of of getting the spread in the interest rate, uh, the difference in the term, and a slight difference in price. But as you can see on this one particular deal, if you can turn $17,000 in potential profit into $60,000 over the course of 36 months, really how many of those do you need per year to make a pretty good living? Not too many. I think. So what this really turns out to be, if you're buying one a month, you know, you can look at about a $60,000 income over time per month. Uh, so that's really how the program works. Now, you know, finding these buyers, you know, cold calling uh, is, is the best method that I've found. And in fact, uh, you know, I was looking at a list of the properties that we bought this year and how we acquired them. And when you look at the breakdown, uh, we picked up a couple from MLS mailings, three from cold calling, one from a field inspector lead, uh, a couple from uh, some foreclosure mailings. And, you know, a new thing that I'm really hearing a lot of investors talk about, and this may be something that you want to pursue, 
is wholesalers. You know, wholesalers, as a rule, do massive, massive marketing. You know, they have to because their business model relies on uh, just a constant flow of deals because they're having to hustle all the time. So they may mail thousands of marketing pieces, put out tons of bandit signs, uh, send out tens of thousands of ringless voicemails, just all of these different methods to constantly generate the leads they need to buy 5, 10, 15, 20 houses a month. And what they're finding with these things is that they get an awful lot of leads come in just like the one we just talked about. And a wholesaler really can't do too much with that. So what do they do? They just have to pass on it. But if you can get hooked up with some wholesalers in your area uh, that you can you know, talk to about passing these leads along to you and making some kind of arrangement with them for payment, I actually talked to a guy today who said he works with wholesalers locally and his deal that he's got set up is that if they send him a lead and he turns it into a deed, then uh, his arrangement is when he installs a buyer that he pays the wholesaler 2% of the sales price. So uh, if the wholesaler sends him a lead on a house that he sells with owner financing or even even retail, if, if some way it works out for that, if he sells it for 200000 then he makes payment to the wholesaler in the amount of $4,000. And that's something that you know, I'm sure that the wholesalers in your area would be interested in because otherwise, you know, they would just be throwing that lead away. So anyway, that's just an idea for you uh, and just an example of how you can take low equity deals and turn them into, uh, you know, amazing profits. So if you have any questions about this, I would like to invite you to join our Facebook group, uh, Subject to Real Estate Forum. Or you can contact me at william at sub2deals.com or contact us directly at sub2deals.com. You know, we offer uh, products as well as coaching. We have a coaching group on Facebook. And uh, if you're interested in that, love to talk to you about it. So anyway, that's how to make a, an amazing profit on a low equity deal. I'd like to thank you for listening today. Now get out there and buy some houses. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of The Sub 2 Deal Show with William Tingle. If you enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review and subscribe. And for more great content and to stay up to date, visit Sub2Deals.com and on Facebook at Sub2Deals. We'll catch you next time.